got the mic, that's nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, how you doing? Uh, my name is Luis Pavon, and I work at Portworks. And I've been very uh, lucky to work in the community in uh, Kubernetes for many years now, starting at Red Hat and in CoreOS. I've been participating in SIG storage for many years. And uh, so one of the things I'm going to talk about today is uh, CSI. What is it and why does it exist? Why are we doing it? Uh, actually, it kind of reminds me way back, I had a uh, conversation with a group of students that came to Portworks one time and they asked me, what is storage and how does it work? And you got five minutes. This is how, this how much pressure I have right now. Okay, let's go. So, so what is CSI? So one of the things that happened way back when containers uh, were first being used was that there was a conception that uh, with containers, you do not want to use persistent storage. It was everything about stateless. So everybody was using uh, stateless uh, containers, and everybody was very happy, and then people wanted to you actually move their enterprise uh, applications then to, con to, to Kubernetes. And to do that, you needed now a method for Kubernetes to manage your storage system. And it's not just Kubernetes. You had the same issue with Docker Swarm and uh, in Mesosphere. And what happens is that each one of these container orchestration systems would then design their own method. So this is our own APIs, and so now as a storage product, as a storage system, you have to write drivers for three different systems, for three, you know, uh, Mesos, uh, Docker, and Kubernetes. So that was one complication. The second complication was in Kubernetes itself, you had to write a driver as a storage vendor and put it inside the Kubernetes code. And what that meant is that as a storage vendor, you could not, uh, I, one, uh, fix any issues, which of course we don't have any. Uh, the second is that you couldn't add any features. You had to wait until the Kubernetes was released, right? Uh, and then you were bound to the release process of Kubernetes. So it was very, very difficult for storage vendors to work with this model. And very difficult for, for customers to work with this model because they wanted new features and they wanted fixes to come in and they had to wait for, for the next version of Kubernetes, right? And they had to upgrade also. They didn't, sometimes some of them did not want to upgrade their Kubernetes version to get the next version of the drivers for storage. So CSI, what is it? It is a uh, community effort led by Google and Mesosphere and Docker, where they come together and decided on a, a uh, standardized model for drivers as an extension. That's the key part, as an extension to their container orchestration system. So now, uh, what we with this model, what we can do is, as a storage driver, we can up plug in to an existing uh, container orchestration system, Mesos, Docker, Kubernetes, that supports this interface, and we're able to upgrade out of band. And now we can provide features, we can do upgrades, we can work to side by side with other storage systems. And so the, the really key thing here is that I've been participating in the project to not just define the, the uh, interface, but implement it. So once we define it, that's all good, everybody can go home, no, no, no. So now we actually say, now we have defined it, let's actually, this needs an implementation. So that I have done with a team uh, from many companies uh, working together, and we have uh, added that to Kubernetes. We, was, we added it to Kubernetes I think it was 110, it was alpha, and 111 is beta. And, uh, and then next is that the, uh, I know that Docker is going to be adding it soon in Mesosphere also. So lastly is that our uh, Portworks, for example, is one of the example drivers that people use when they write their, their software. And also we participate providing testing software. So how, do I, how do you know that your drivers are able to work with any of the uh, container orchestration systems? We also provide that too. So uh, any questions on the last 46, 45, 44 seconds? <laughs> Go ahead. Absolutely. That's actually, yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, it, this is basically C, uh, CNI for storage, and absolutely it is. Uh, it, uh, we actually uh, took a lot of ideas from them, um, but uh, it's all gRPC based, uh, including the name except for the S. <laughs> uh, no, no better uh, way to say thanks than to. Do